Welcome again. Today, our topic on digital design is hardware description language, HDL. A hardware description language, HDL, is a programming language used to describe the behavior or structure of digital circuits, ICs. A hardware description language enables a precise, formal description of a digital circuit that allows for the automated analysis and simulation of the circuit. It also allows for the synthesis of a HDL description into a netlist, which can then be placed and routed to produce the set of masks used to create an integrated circuit. A hardware description language looks much like a programming language such as C. It is a textual description consisting of expressions, statements, and control structures. There is one difference between HDLs and programming languages in that HDLs explicitly include the notion of time. There are several hardware description languages available, but the most common used are VHDL and Verilog. VHDL stands for Very High Speed Integrated Circuit Hardware Description Language, where Verilog is from verifying logic. Verilog was developed by IEEE and has become the standard hardware description language. And there are several versions of it in 2001 and a version in 2005. Verilog modules are of two types, behavior and structural. Behavior describes what a module do, while structural describes how a module is built from other modules. Here is a behavior Verilog example. The words module and module are reserved, assigned as well. Here we have the inputs and the output or outputs. And the output is assigned the logical expression. Here is one possible description for the AND gate using Verilog. We have inputs A, B and output 1. Here in the module we have input wire A, input wire B, output wire 1, and we assign the output wire A and B. These are the most common used operators in HDL languages. Here are the Verilog operators. They are similar to the symbols used in programming languages and in mathematics. Here we have another example, the expression A, B, or C. The circuit is as follows, A, B, C. In the description, we have the input wire A, input wire B, input wire C, and we have the output wire out one, where signal one is defined here, and sig one is assigned A and B, and the output is assigned sig1 or this is the operator for or operation or c as you see in line 8 an internal signal is defined the keyword where is used to specify the data type of this connection the where data type would translate to a physical where in the design here we have another example the expression a b or c d or not inputs are defined a b c d Output is defined as F here. Here we have the wire AB and here the wire CD and here the wire X. The wires AB, CD and X are declared. We assign the operation A and B to the wire AB, the operation C and D to the wire CD and the OR from these two wires is assigned to the wire X, and finally, not X is assigned to the function F. Here is another example with two functions. A, B, C are declared as inputs, X, Y as outputs. Now we have two wires, wire one and two are declared. Next we add A and B to wire one. We complement C into wire two. We or C or wire one into X and we or B with wire two into Y. This was a quick introduction to HDL.
this introduction is good for computer science students. However, engineering students need to exercise and learn more in, in order to use HDL simulators. Thank you.